All right, welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live on this Thursday morning. We are just uh, what, four days out from Super Bowl 55 down in Tampa, Florida. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brian Sazi, obviously huge market implications for the performance of the markets, depending on who wins on Sunday. I mean, absolutely huge, uh, you guys. And we were doing some uh, investigative research here. And, and so this comes compliments of LPL Financial, and, and it's called the Super Bowl Indicator. And this uh, goes back to uh, for the past uh, about 1967 to 2020 uh, in terms of data. And it suggests that the when the NFC wins, uh, the stock market, the S&P 500, uh, rises about 10.2% for the full year. Now, when the AFC wins, that gain is only a meager 7.1%. Uh, again, that is full credit to LPL Financial and, and Ryan Dietrich, a, a friend uh, of the network. More specifically, we should all probably be rooting for the ageless Tom Brady here, because when the Buccaneers won their only Super Bowl in 2003 with John Gruden, the S&P 500 went on to increase 26.4%. Forget cash flow uh, and all that other PE analysis, all that garbage, who cares? Tampa Bay won. The stock market went through the roof, really ripped higher. Uh, sadly, probably shouldn't be rooting for Patrick Mahomes this weekend. Uh, for the two titles that the Kansas City Chiefs have won uh, in 1970 and 2020, the good old S&P 500 only rose 8.1% for the full year after this. Uh, so put all your chips in Tom Brady. Hope he wins again. And then stocks absolutely rip higher and everybody has a great holiday season. It's kind of scientific analysis. You can't just, you know, you can't just get this anywhere. I will say, nope. if we look at the main, if we look at the main screen, you guys know what I'm going to say. The the main takeaway from the data. Stocks Stock usually go up. go up. Stocks go up either way. Oh. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, You're either looking at a 10% gain or an 8% gain. Julia, I'd take that to the bank every time. Well, you know me, um, stock returns or no, I don't care if there's guaranteed positive returns. Still doesn't make me care much about football. Although, for some of my good friends from Kansas City, Gordon Terry, I know he would be very happy if the Chiefs won again. Uh, and I will, I will share one. Um, really, there was, there was like a whole meme yesterday. Of, you know, people making the jokes about how old Tom Brady is, all these different stats from what the world was like in 1999 when he entered the NFL versus now. One that is actually relevant to our audience. I saw a number that suggested there were just $97 billion in exchange traded funds when Tom Brady joined the NFL. Today, there are about $5 trillion in exchange traded funds and similar vehicles. Um, so, I mean, if that doesn't tell you the story of how finance has changed uh, since Tom Brady's uh, endless, interminable uh, football career, which has spanned, I mean, more than half of, I guess if you do the population, whatever the median age is in the U.S., it's probably more than half of the um, median American's life. I mean, he's been in the NFL for 22 years. He's 43. Like, this guy looks like, Saz, we had a guest who said you looked young yesterday. Tom Brady, he's aging in reverse. He looks old in 2003 compared to the guy we're looking at here. Yeah, and uh, here's another fun fact. I believe, if my memory serves me correct, GameStop was founded in 2003, so go figure. But you're, you're hitting us with a lot of deep thoughts, Miles, and I'll leave you with this. Stocks go up, and sometimes they go down, but you know, each day they will do something. Um, I, wish I, I, wish I, kept track. I wish I kept track of the days, because I remember a handful of days where the S&P 500 has literally gone, has done 0.00, .00 day over day. They're rare, they do happen. Um, and those are the most fun. But they do because, something. Uh, yeah, something happens. You know, back at BI, we had to write a screaming headline every day about the market recap. And stocks go nowhere was actually my favorite part. Um, that was my favorite part of that genre because it's so kind of uh, ridiculous. But um, hey, look, we're just here to report the facts. And sometimes that's all we can say. All right.